Hey, it's Courier Girl, and it's time for another question and answer video. Today's question comes from Kate's Cube, and he asks, well, he says, there is another YouTube channel that talks about being a medical courier, and he gets 60% commission, and the company keeps 40% commission. He seems to make a lot of money. So I wanted to talk about commission and percentages and how you get paid because that's an important thing. We wanna know how we're gonna get paid. I have seen courier companies pay 60%, 50%, 75%. It just depends on their setup and the contracts that they have. And then if you're doing a route, you might get paid a set amount rather than a percent of commission. So a percent of commission is usually for on-demand work. So if a job pays $100 and you're getting 60%, you would get $60. And so you know roughly what you're going to make. Now, the thing is, a lot of companies don't publish rate sheets. So they'll tell you you're getting 60%, but you don't really know what that means until you get your printout when you get paid. So you may be doing runs and you don't know if a job pays $5 or $20 or $50 until you've done that job a few times and you've gotten paid and now you have an idea. Also on the commission, I want to say that most companies are honest, but not all of them are. So they may tell you, Let's use $100 again because that's an easy number to do the math on. So they may tell you that you're getting 60% and the job was $100, okay? So you're going to get 60 bucks. They're going to get 40, all right? But that's what they're telling you. They may really be getting $120 for that job and you will never know because they're not going to tell you that. They're going to print out on your print sheet $100, 60%, you get $60. And so... Even though they're saying that, don't think that it's 100% true all the time. Now, it doesn't mean that you can change what you're getting paid or change your rate structure. It just means that they're probably keeping some for the house before they ever go into your split. The other thing is, is it worth it or not? If you're working the hours you like to work, and making enough money relative to the time you're putting in and the mileage you're putting on your vehicle, then it's worth it. If you're happy, you're making an income that you like, you are working hours and you know the amount of hours that you like, you're driving the amount that you like, then that's great, that's a great deal. If you are working really long hours and not making much money because all of the runs are low pay, you know, 60% of $10 is six bucks. It's a whole lot less than 60% of $50, which is 30 bucks. So if you're getting nothing but $10 runs and you're running yourself ragged, then it doesn't matter what the percent is, it's not gonna be very good. You want to have the higher paying runs. Now, in the on-demand business, you're gonna get a mix. So there's gonna be the lower paying runs and there's gonna be the ones that pay more and hopefully it all averages out in the end so that you're happy with the amount that you're getting paid. So you have to look at that as well. And the only way to really know that is to do it for a, a period of time so that you can get a good idea of, you know, what the work really is and how you're getting, how much you're getting paid and all of that. So um, is 60% a good commission? I don't know. I know companies that are paying 50%. I know companies that are paying 75%. I know companies that just take a flat fee off the top and you get the rest. Um, it's hard for me to say that a flat percent is a good commission, if that makes sense. All right, what about routes? Routes are getting paid a certain amount. So let's say you're getting paid $160 for a route and that route takes you eight hours to do. Well, that is $20 an hour. If you're okay with $20 an hour, then it's a good deal. And it also depends on how many miles, how many stops, how much work it is for that eight hours. I mean, if you are doing an eight hour route and you only have five stops because you're driving 
100 miles between each stop or whatever. I don't know how that calculates out, but you know what I'm saying. You could have fewer stops that are farther apart or fewer stops where there's a lot of loading and unloading, like you're having truckloads full of stuff. You could have 50 to 75 stops, but it's only picking up specimens out of lock boxes or delivering one little envelope or, or box to each place. There's so many different variables, variables that again, you have to say, all right, this route pays this much. They say it takes eight hours. Number one, can I get more efficient as I start doing the route more? In other words, can I cut that time down? Number two, how much work and how many packages and how much of are all the other factors in that job so that I can decide if it's worth it to me. So I know that's a lot of different things to think about, but you really have to over time get a feel for if you are happy with the amount you're making for the time put in, the miles you're driving, the amount of work it is and all that, factor all those in. Instead of just purely thinking about the percentage that the company's telling you you're making. All right, I hope that makes sense. I hope that answered your question. Have a great time driving and I will see you on the road.